now that's all the trees are set let's run the game you can press on select current it's going to select the current scene now as you can see the camera is set from nowhere for a specific region but we don't know which region as you can see it just zoomed out but still not natural to fall so go to project settings what we're gonna do in project settings in windows we are going to change uh, the stretch mode i want it to set to canvas item all right then you can close this save and zoom out actually you can see there is a plenty of errors here we'll fix it later maybe so now in buildings uh we need to add a child nodes right click we now add a node let's name it as buildings add a child node and you're going to name it as blake buildings we're going to add a child node as well let's look for static body 2d static body 2d for all who don't know so the body 2d is a static body that collides but does not move so we're going to use it to create our house because we don't need our house to move so black house one now to that static body node we need to save it as a branch scene first let's create new folder we're going to call it as buildings all right now save we can open now click on this small icon now we are in black house scene let's add a child node we need an image let's have the collision we need now an image to show to the viewer in the interface and also it's called an animated sprite 2d after adding an animated sprite 2d we are going to rename it as a name now we need to add an image to this animation sprite 2d let that in your sprite frame we need to add a sprite a sprite is an image png image for most of the time so now in our folders amongst our assets we are going to drag the house one png now we can set a collision shape to this image let's drag the anim on top of it right now let's resize the house collision almost fits the entire image now that it's set i can hide the collision this is the first house so we are going to close these assets oh no we need to create house to a house three so what we did need to do is right click on buildings we are going to create a new folder first we need to make a little bit of arrangement where we are staying we are saving our scenes so black house one we are going to We are going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and we are going to rename the second scene uh, House 2 and House 3 as well as you can see. Now if you actually open, double click on those two, you can see we have Black House 2. All you need to do now is just change the name here. Do the same for Black House 3 now we need to change the image so all we need to do is delete this image and drag and drop house 3 change the collision shape but this shape is already nice so i'm going to keep it so let i down now go back to house 2 delete this image and put house 2 image let's enable the visibility as well the shape is still nice so what i'm gonna do is close all this Control and save. Now I'm going to delete this one. All right. Control S. I can save. Now, if I go down here, all I need to do is drag and drop them wherever I want, and we can make it shallow. That black buildings node. 
Now if I drag and drop them here on my scene, as you can see, looking very nice. Takes a pixel frog for this nice design of house. They're really pretty. They look really pretty nice to me. All right, let's first select all these, and we are going to lock them. Control L. No need to modify anything from there. We'll do the same for decorations. Control L, and we lock them. Now that we have the black owls, all we need to do is create blue, red, and yellow. So all this, I'll do it behind the scene. No need for me to show you all this. You will take a lot of time. So all you need to do is place them a different emplacement on the P on the screen. Actually, all right. As you can see, for me, I made the yellow, the blue. The yellow need to put it down here. Now, if you go a bit up there, you can see I created tower there as well. It's the same procedure actually. A static body and as well for the red, as you can see, I added towers and castles. It's the same procedure. If you didn't follow, you can just go back and see. Now, add a child node. We are going to add a node to D. Let's rename it as the unit. Now we need all actually characters we need characters for our game so first one we're going to name them as well black units let's add right click add a child node now we need to add a character body 2d a character body 2d contrary to the classic static body 2d is a body physical boat which can actually move on certain commands so let's rename this character black character body 2d as black knight now we're going to do the same thing save it as branching but we're going to save it in a new folder that we create and we are going to rename it as uh, units let's create another folder to set it very clearly so black units in their folder now let's open this new thing that we just created we are going to add a collision, an image, and most probably for whatever application you're using, your you can create as well a camera for that. But for me, I'm going to add an animated sprite 2D and a collision shape 2D. So now we got anim and a collision shape 2D. Let's add an animation to this. So animation new sprite frame. Now all we need to do is to create an animation. We're going to click on this grid small icon. We're going to asset unit, black units. We're going to start with the warrior. As you can see, we need a warrior ILPNG. Now we need to resize it. I prefer to do it manually, so I'm going to do a vertical one and horizontally eight. As you can see on top, on, on the bottom is written auto slice. Now add this animation. We're going to rename this animation as idle. We can enable autoplay as well. And adjust the FPS, the speed. Let's add more animations. We're going to run, uh, run animation. Let's add PNG. The run animation we can also resize it manually vertical is one and horizontal is six let's increase the sps to 10 as well as you can see the animation run is playing now let's add another animation uh, we can add animation we add running wall so we're going to add God. it's already selected so all we need to add the frames let's rename it as well as quad animation add another animation i'm going to add, add, add two so let's put verticals on one It attack one let's add another animation we are going to add this animation as well 
already set so just that animation and if i play it i'm going to increase the fps first up to 10. increase the fps as well here let's rename it attack Right now that is done, we can uh, go back to idle first. I need an animation which will be uh, idle to, to add a collision to the player. Let's center him. We can press G to grab the camera and move it in the center. And Q to go back to the select mode. Now let's match the shape of the character. Now lock it. Control L. Now you can also go back to the word. Drag him. Here it is. Now let I this. Control L to save and go back to the word. Now in units, we got black units. Get this black knight we can rename it as black monk by duplicate now let's open black monk or we're going to do black monk actually as you can see we have archer warrior so what all you're gonna do is duplicate the first that you created and all you need to do now is just change the name and change the animations might take a bit of time, so I might do it behind the scene actually. I'm going to do it for the black unit, yellow unit, red unit, and the purple. If we do have a purple unit in this new pack of assets, we have blue, red, and yellow. Sorry, purple was for the previous pack of assets created by Pixel Frog. So here with the black, yellow, yellow, red, and blue. Right. Now that it's created, once all this is done, I'm going to create all these other animations from the blue, red, and you can actually pause video and do it on your own. This might take a lot of time, but as I already told you guys, I won't be making a full game. So as you can see back in your game, I added a lot of things. I finished the black warrior, the black lancer, the black monk. The black tower with the archer on top of it. I add a sheep, a black archer himself. Now, if I go to the scripts, I won't be showing you how to create all the scripts. You can actually find it in the link that I'll leave in the description of the video. I won't be talking about GD script right now. It's a bit complicated. As you can see for the monk, the ship, I even added the ship in the game and the warrior. Alright, as you can see the code are pretty complicated for beginners. So now if I go back to the monk, the warrior, as you can see I added a camera to follow around. So now let's launch the game. As you can see the arrows are being treated at the warrior, I added the ship and the camera following the character all around this place as you can see the red unit and the small man summoning healing magics so you will find this uh, project you can download it and you can edit it you can create whatever you want out of it you'll find it in the description of the video all I can ask for you is to like the video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more content like these ones so thank you guys for watching this tutorial from the beginning to the end